everybody. Uh, I've got a small tutorial for you today on the song uh, Daydream by Medicine. I've recreated it here and I'm going to show you how to make some of the chord sounds. So let's get started. So let's start with these chords in the beginning here, the sine wobbles. All right, so it's pretty simple. On oscillator A and B, we both have sine waves and um, uh, four voices on both oscillators with a bit of detune. And next we have the LFO1 going to the level of both oscillators and the fine tuning on both oscillators. Um, and then the LFO is also, uh, wait, no. And then the envelope is going to the filter here. And then we've got a slight bit of distortion, the multiband compressor, and a bit of EQ to take out some of the low end. So that's that sound there. All right, next we've got those first chord stabs. So they've got a bit crusher on them, Logic's bit crusher. And here's a serum patch. So it's just two uh, saw waves, one an octave up. The first one has three voices with a bit of detune, second one, one voice. Um, as well as the sub, which isn't acting as a sub, it's two octaves up with a sine wave. And that's bypassing the filter here, so the filter is affecting. Um, both those two saw waves. And then next we've got the multiband compressor and a bit of EQ as well. So that's without bit crusher there, and now with the bit crusher. And let's compare it to the original. So that's Pretty similar, I'd say. Pretty close. Let's just do that quickly with those first chords, too. And these sound pretty similar, I think. Obviously, I don't have the uh, vocals in there. Could not recreate those myself. I tried, but did not go as well as I'd hoped. All right, and then those last chords in the main chorus kind of section. Sorry, my computer is not handling the uh, screen recording software and the logic well at the same time. I'm getting a bit of crackling, but let's just power through. All right, these last chords are pretty similar to the ones before. Uh, two saw waves. One has five voices, the other one is one. Um, I've got this LFO attached to them there and the filter as well, so, but B is not going through the filter for some reason. And I've got the multiband compressor and EQ, and I've also got a filter at the end, and this is because the multiband compressor pretty much kills the uh, envelope or the LFO that's controlling them before. Like it kind of just brings all the dynamics up to the same point, so it doesn't have much definition, but uh, bringing this envelope onto the cutoff there it kind of gives the sound a bit more definition again. It's not so just like, it's not like a block of sound. It's got uh, more defined edges. So that's that sound. And that's without the bit crusher there. It sounds like there's a bit crusher on it. And this is with the bit crusher.
All right, so that's pretty much it for today. Um, if you guys want any other parts of the song explained in another video, just let me know in the comments. Uh, also, if this was useful, if you want more like it, let me know and subscribe. Um, and make sure to check out my SoundCloud as well, s.liar. I put all the links in the description. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me at my email as well. Put that in the link too. All right, cheers.